How many fan bases in America would be fired up over a four-win season? Well, you can start your list by writing down New Mexico. So will head coach Bob Davey be able to continue the momentum in year two of his rebuilding project? To answer that question, we've invited our managing editor Pete Futak in here to the studio as we preview the Lobos. And Davey's rebuilding project is about as tough as they come. New Mexico won just three games total in three seasons prior to his arrival. So, Pete, is this a place that he can actually turn into a viable football program? Yeah, you know, Rocky Long was able to do it. He was able to get New Mexico to a point where they were able to go to bowl games on a regular basis. You can't, I don't think he's ever going to be making Boise State or making the superpower or anything like that, but more than anything else, Bob Davey restored the dignity of the program. On and off the field, Mike Loxley was a complete and utter disaster. Davey came in, instilled his, his brand of discipline both on and off the field, and it showed with a great running game and a team that did improve, like you mentioned. So while most schools around the country are trying to speed up the game of football, New Mexico is actually trying to slow things down a bit. Last year, the offense ranked fifth in the nation in rushing but just 123rd in passing. So, Pete, can this system be successful in the Mountain West, and does he have the pieces and the players to do yeah, it? Yeah, well, they're not trying to speed up the, the game. They're trying to speed up the clock. They go in kind of a Dean Smith four corners offense by running the ball, just getting the clock moving, just, you know, like you said, kind of grind it down a little bit. And with that offense, it will run the ball for 300 yards a game. It kind of helps out the defense, keep the D off the field, and just hope that the game kind of shortens up a little bit and they can be in at the end. All right, Pete, so the Lobos have not gone to a bowl game since 2007. Can Coach Davey and his eight returning starters accomplish that feat in 2013? I don't think so. It's still There's still a massive talent gap to deal with. They're still going to run the ball well. They still can't pass all that effectively or efficiently. They've got to have some sort of a passing attack because teams are just loading up on that ground game. Uh, I think they are. They get by a few games early on. I think they beat UTSA. I think they get by UTEP and New Mexico State. But you look at the rest of this Mountain West schedule, it is nasty. There's not a real big break for them along the way. I think they go 3-9, and nine, maybe a couple upsets there. I think their high is maybe a five-win season. But if nothing else, I think they're going to keep improving. That running game is going to keep getting better. And hopefully for year three under Davey, that's where they make that big jump up. All right, Pete, thanks very much. For more Mountain West previews, including Pete's prediction on the conference champion. Keep it locked to campusinsiders.com.